In this video, I'm going to show you how you can track your scene and add objects, text, and items onto surfaces right inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's get into it. Once you have your footage imported into Adobe After Effects, the first step is going to be to search in the effects and presets for 3D camera tracker. So we'll drop that onto our video clip and After Effects is just going to take a moment or two to analyze the footage, figure out where everything is. And in a moment, it will come back with a whole list of tracking points for us to select from. And we're back. So as you can see, it says 3D camera tracker, layer size must match composition and use default, yada, yada. So what this basically means is I'm using a 4K video clip and as you can see, I've had to affect the scale. So the best way to work around this is to delete 3D camera tracker. Just copy and paste this, highlight both, right click, select pre-compose, and that's gonna put this video clip in a pre-composition that is the correct dimension. And then we can drop 3D camera tracker on. And now when it reanalyzes it, it is going to be the correct size and therefore there won't be any issues. So the first step is to actually match the composition and the footage in terms of settings. So your frame rate, your frame size and other settings as well. Make sure they're matching. And if they're not, then pre-compose your footage so that it matches the same dimensions and the same specs as the composition itself. So as we can see, that has now done a good job at analyzing the shots. You can see these tracking points run throughout the whole frame. And essentially these are just our tracking points and we need to pick a selection of these. So in order to do that, we'll just scroll through and you'll see a red target appear. So this is just a selection of tracking points. So if you were putting the text or the item in back here, you would select one from back here. But if you're putting it down here, then select these because the movement here is going to be very different to the movement up here. So I'm just going to select these three points, right click and select create null and camera. So now we have successfully created a track null and a 3D tracker camera. So this means we can now add in an item. So let's go for some text. So if we select the horizontal type tool, type out a word or phrase of your choice. Now, if we convert that to 3D, so on the text layer, make sure you select 3D. And if you can't see this, by the way, then just select toggle switches slash modes. And if you right click at the top bar here, go to columns, make sure that switches is enabled. So if you're seeing this, go to columns, switches and make sure that is enabled and then click this 3D icon. And then you'll notice that is stuck to the footage. But of course, this is the wrong angle. We need it to be lying down on stage. So if we go into the text layer, go to transform. If we go to rotation, you can see we've got X, Y and Z. So if we change X, it now looks like it is lying on the stage. You can also adjust the other ones as well if it doesn't quite look right. So as you can see, this is what we end up with. But the problem that I'm seeing right now is it is hovering a little bit. It's not quite sticking to the floor. It's hovering a little bit. And that would imply that it's just above the stage and we need to bring it down. So if we go into position, we can just bring this down a little bit. See if that fixes it. Again, it's hovering just a pinch, not by much, but just a little bit. So now we can actually push it further into the space. So rather than pushing it up or down, we're literally pushing it towards or away from the camera. So that is this third option. So by increasing the number, we're pushing it away. So let's see if that works. As you can see, that is still hovering a little bit, but it is a bit better. So have a play with this number. Just play around until you find the point where it stops wiggling around or just to a point that you're happy with. And that is essentially the text now stuck into the scene. So anytime you want to add anything into a scene, whether it's a video, an image, a text layer, an asset, a color solid, a shape, whatever it is, if you now turn it into a 3D layer, it's going to use the 3D tracking points that we created from the 3D camera tracker and police this into the scene. So hopefully you enjoyed watching this video. And if you wanted to learn more about Adobe After Effects, then please do click this video just up here. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.